Welcome to Northern Manitoba. Today, we're going to do some trophy walleye fishing at Bud's Gunnaseo Lake Lodge. As my special guest, I have Jim Bud, the owner of the lodge. Jim, you said that this is probably the best place in the world for trophy walleye. Well, in the springtime, uh, they come up this creek and in walleye hole, and it's just fantastic fishing. You know, uh, Irwin brought us in here, and I would think that this area where we're at, a little river and, and all this grass would be a northern pike place, but you're telling me earlier that this is where the walleye actually come to spawn. This is where the walleye come to spawn, right up this creek. Well, what is gonna be the best thing to use in here? Jigs or crankbaits or? Well, I think today, uh, I think jigs are gonna be the best. Okay, it's a little overcast, which should be ideal for walleye fishing. I hear some ducks and I hear some ptarmigan in the background. And what a wonderful place to be at this time of year. Why don't we get some big fish? Sounds great. <laughs> All righty. Okay. I'll tell it's you. still awful good. Yes. Jim, on the first cast, I got a fish. <laughs> now, how can you beat that? Well, you just can't beat that. I got a little four pound test line on this with a little jig. Oh, it's really fighting. I don't know. I thought maybe it was a pike, but there he's both pike and. Whoa! That was a pike because. You don't have any bait. I don't have anything left, so that had to be. Unless this is only four pound test line. So it's, Either that was a pike or one of those trophy walleyes. Well, bragging we got to go get another one then. <laughs> Let's see. Got a tackle box here. Now you can't beat that. The first cast, it hadn't been down there a second. You didn't even give me a chance to get my line in the water. <laughs> you got to be fast. You got to be fast. Yeah, let's see. A jig here. It's a little bit chilly this morning, but I think that's mainly because of that ice out on the water, out on the main lake, and it's north wind blowing over it, really chilling it down. Well, that and the ice going out of walleye hole, this is the first day the ice has really moved around. And this is really the first week of the season for the lodge? Yes, uh, this is the first uh, week, and a little bit later this year because of uh, Manitoba weather, but I'll tell it's you, still awful good. Yes. I think the thing that amazes me about Canada in general, and especially Manitoba, is the quietness. As soon as you get off that airplane, I mean, you don't hear anything. You hear the wind going through the trees, but you hear the loons and all the nature, which is great, but to get away from that noise that you're used to because you're in it every day and you don't realize what quiet is and when you get up here you find out how nice it is to be in the outdoors and the sunsets and the sunrise and the northern lights are just fantastic do you get to see the northern lights here much mostly all summer really mostly all summer I've seen them and that is really spectacular anybody that hasn't seen northern lights it's a real treat. It's hard to believe all the things in nature that are there. You got oh, one, Jim! Oh, oh, oh. Way to go! Bring her in. Oh, you got a nice fish! See, I didn't wait for you to get your line in. You didn't I wait see for that. me, so I didn't oh. wait for you. Well, bring her in here. Oh, you got a nice... That's a nice fish. What pound test line are you using? I'm using eight pound. Eight pound. Have you seen him yet? No. Oh, that first cast. Look at what a trophy. Careful here. Look, look, look. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Look at that fish. <laughs> Good going. Thank you. <laughs> first cast. Look at the length of that fish. Wow, is that beautiful? Standing now that's here. a trophy walleye from oh. Gonna see a Lake Lodge. God, you aren't <laughs> kidding. Man, I might have had one on that side. I think you probably oh. did. <laughs> oh, is that? Look how long it is. And the nice colors. First fish to start the day. Can't beat oh. that. Wow, well, let this one go. So it can grow back a little bigger and next year somebody or later this season, somebody else can catch it. 
Boy. So that's the fun of fishing. <laughs> you aren't kidding. I didn't even get my lure back on. But I didn't give you any time either. That's so. right. <laughs> so we're even. Oh, what a beautiful start. Okay. Well, you went up on me, Jim. But I'm going to change that. On this cast. Jim, I got one. Oh! <laughs> you got one. Oh! oh, oh. oh this is a strong fish. Look at that. Oh, nice double. Wow, I don't know. Maybe I don't have lunch here. Well, whoa! I can't see oh. mine. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, what do I got here? No, this is not lunch. <laughs> I don't know about yours, but this isn't lunch. This is maybe I'm seven or eight pounder. I'm sure this isn't lunch. Is it? <laughs> There's yours. Look at Whoa. that. Whoa. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that. Wow. What a double. What a double. Well, let's see. If you wait a second, I'll get this one off. And then I can get yours off. Whoa! Look at oh, that. Oh, that's a nice walleye. That is a nice fish. Okay. Get this one here. And if you bring yours over. Yeah, I'm catching up a little bit here. A little more. Come on, fish. 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 Well, they're in here good. Okay. Oh, those are two nice fish. Look how yellow. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, that's a good way to go. I'll let this one go. It gets off of that lure somehow. I think. All right, that one can, can revive him. I want to keep him out of the water too long. What? Oh, Piker in there spawning. <laughs> There's only him. one. Wow, yours is really hooked well. Really hooked well. Boy, they're hungry. They are hungry. Okay. Well, I'm hungry too, but I don't think we're going to get any small enough today. I don't know. We got one fish. <laughs> Everything else is trophies. Okay. Uh, him go. Revive them here a little bit. Doesn't take much of this cold water for them to revive. Oh, that was good. Nice double. Way to go, Jimmy. But I got you that time. Yeah, you got me. You got me. Yours is bigger. <laughs> yeah, but so far you got the biggest. What of the do you day. got on there? Got that 12 pounder still down there somewhere. eluding us temporarily. Well, I think we ought to get a 14 pounder today. <laughs> <laughs> Our biggest one last year was 13 pounds and three quarters. Oh, well then we so just- we should break that. We got to do that. We got to get 14 then. That's a- And, ah! There you go! There you there go! There it is, <laughs> there it is, there it is. Oh, I think this might be a lunch. This might be a lunch. Yep, this gotta be a lunch fish. Oh, oh just the right this size. This is the just real the lunch right fish. Size. Real lunch fish. We got lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, that was a little dumb with light tackle, but that's okay. Lunch fish. Moo, male, he's really throwing the sperm around here. Make a mess. Okay, we're when are we gonna eat that one? I like the idea too of just keeping one big fish if you want to mount it. Oh, geez, did you hit that one? Whoa! Holy cow, that was bigger than the last one. Jim, you're doing a number here. Gotta get my line I was in. Gonna bring that Woo! bait in the boat, but he jumped out of the water. <laughs> Jeez, oh man! Really hit that. One. Oh. That looks bigger. I mean, I just got a little glimpse of it. I just got a glimpse of it. I didn't really see. But that looked bigger than the last one. Uh, 
Well, maybe not. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with it, though. It's still You've got two good trophies already. No. Oh. Yeah. Almost, almost. A little fighter. He likes yeah. that cold water. Yes. And he digs that out. Nope, too good. Long loser. Ha! Still nothing wrong with that one. The only problem is all these are too big to eat for sure lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice uh, problem to have. Yes. <laughs> well, probably what, about five maybe? Yes. Something like Awful that. Awful looking, healthy looking at. Yes. Well, that water being so nice and cold, ooh, those. Next year it'll be about seven or six. And then the next year a little bigger. And because you only keep the big ones, that's really good management of the species. Then you just keep the one to four pounders for lunch? Uh, one to three pounders for lunch. One to three lunch. pounders. And then the three to eight pounders we feel are the real good spawners. So this makes our stock real good. Well, really, in all reality, those small fish are the better eating by far. Much better eating by far. So it's better to eat the ones that really taste good and use the ones that are the thrill of catching it. And the nice thing about it is somebody can come next week and catch that same fish. And somebody can come next month and catch that same fish. And you've got, you know, a, a supply of, of trophies for a lot of people. I think that's been a problem in a lot of Canadian lakes is they take all those big trophies out and they're no good to eat, and no. you don't need to mount a lot of fish. Rather have somebody else take pictures, let them back, and I know people love to eat fish, but the smaller ones are plenty good to eat, and just let somebody else enjoy that same fish, which is, I think, really a Well, this smart way, way our grandkids are gonna have a beautiful place to fish. Yes, right, and their grandkids, as long as it's kept up the same way. Ah, he's there, he's there. He's a nice one, too. Ooh. Oh, that light tackle. That is a throw. Oh, this is, this jim has got could some be the weight. This 14 pounder <laughs> that we need. Some weight. Oh, this got some weight. If this is, this isn't a pike. Oh, man, this has got, this is heavy. This is heavy. Is that going to be running around? It is a pike. It's a bigger pike. It's a big Boy, pike. I thought if that was a walleye. That would have been a fish. That would have been a fish. Boy, that's big. Sure is strong. They sure fight in this cold <laughs> water, don't they? Boy, do they. Oh. Sure do. That's real low. Isn't that nice to oh, re release those uh, yeah. fish with those barbless hooks? Boy, man, that is pretty fish. Pretty fish. Now you can go grow up and still got to catch it. We'll have a trophy next year. Exactly. Well, did you warm up a little bit? I'm warm. <laughs> Oh, you got that one. You got that one, no doubt. Oh, that is a big wall. I have a feeling that my uh, lead is just uh, disappearing here. Look at the size of this fish. Where is the line? Ah. Yeah, that is a nice fish. Yes, walleye fishing, the big Gunnaseal Lake, isn't it? Oh, Gunnaseal is a great lake for walleye. <laughs> that's definitely true. Boy, that's something. Grow up and get a little bigger. A couple Good. more years, that'll be yeah. yours. <laughs> <laughs> Good going, Jim. A couple more years. Yeah. Well, we know there's walleye in this hole, so I'm gonna have to get one of them out of there. I might have had more fun days, but I can't remember when. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh! Geez, they're hitting it and running at the boat. Whoa, that looks like a nice one. Do anything. Oh, yeah. Whoa! That is a nice one. If this isn't a pike, we got a nice fish here. Boy, is he cruising. Look at this. Greg, that's a problem. Yeah, this is a healthy fish here. Healthy, wow, this is really a healthy fish. Well, I'm just because, holy cow, what in the world? That's got to be a pike. Oh, man. Gee whiz, look at this. I can't even lift it. You having fun yet? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I just want to see him. I don't care what I lose him. I just want to see him. Whoa! Don't lose your hole. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, look at this. Oh. Wow, look at that. Man. Holy Christ. Just oh, look at him. <laughs> What a fish! What a fish! Oh, gee! Want to net him? Well, let's see. Maybe not. All we gotta do is see him. Then we don't catch a good size. Oh, gee! Is that a fish? Is that a fish? Oh, holy oh, crap! Right. <laughs> oh, is he a big fish? That is a big one. That is a, oh my gosh. I mean, we better net it. <laughs> oh, oh, that is a strong fish. All right. Oh, nice that wall. That is a big fish. Gee, man. Oh, now that is a trophy. Holy cow. Look, oh, did he in the Boy, he, he really is. That is a heavy fish. On that light tackle. Boy, he had that buried in there. I thought he was going to lose his pole for a while. <laughs> oh, that is nice. How heavy, uh, Herwin? Yeah. That 10? Yeah. Huh? 10 pounds. 10 pounds? We'll just get a length on it. We'll let him go. Let me get back here, Jim. Oh. 76 centimeters. That is a tremendous. Well, 75 is 30, so that's over 30 inches. Now on that light tackle. That's about 32 inches. Oh. 31 inches. Heavy, nice walleye. God, that that fought. Boy, it's nice when they're at the surface and their head is yeah, crashing yeah. like that. That's a gonna see a lake oh. walleye. We hope you enjoyed the outdoor world of Castaway Coolies. And be sure to join us again next week at the same time to enter the outdoor world of Castaway Coolies. If you have a question about something you've seen on today's show or have any ideas for future shows, contact Castaway Coolis at 725 Broadway, Bedford, Ohio, 44146.